Bungie has concluded its server maintenance routine, and Destiny 2 servers are back online. The first Iron Banner event of Season 2, which began in early December with Curse of Osiris's release, is now live for a limited time, and a major new update has been released on PS4, Xbox One, and PC. Here's exactly what it does. As Bungie detailed previously, Update 1.1.2 introduces Masterwork Armor. This is a rare quality that all legendary armor can take on, and it operates similarly to the Masterwork Weapons system added in December. Essentially, legendary armor can drop as, or be upgraded to, a Masterwork version, which provides you with an additional stat bonus that can be rerolled. Each piece of Masterwork armor also offers a 3% damage resistance bonus while your super is active, this effect stacks offering a maximum of 15% if all five of your armor pieces are masterworks. These items can be obtained through all of the normal means, though trials of the nine and raid activities are more likely to drop them. Dismantling them provides you with materials that can then be used to upgrade a legendary item into a masterwork. Drops related to the raid have also changed in a number of ways. By completing a corresponding activity in a given week, you'll be able to purchase a rotating selection of armor or weapons from Benedict 99 to 40. Raid encounters are now guaranteed to drop a piece of armor or a weapon, and completing a prestige raid encounter before doing the normal version will get you rewards from both the prestige and normal versions. A new exotic ghost exclusive to Leviathan can now be found during raid activity's final encounter. Finally, as pictured below, Raid Armor all now have unique mods with new perks that only work when on the Leviathan. These can be rotated in and out by spending a raid token, and even existing raid armor will have a spot to equip these mods.